All right, guys, getting ready to start a new project. Since I finished that Mustang yesterday, I've been having a blast with it. I tell you what, those Tough One chassis, as fast as they are, I know why a lot of these T-Jets are broken, okay? As fast as they are, I, I'm quite certain I know why they're broken. Uh, here's what's coming up next. We have a Lincoln. We got a um, dune buggy and a little roof over there, and they've all been painted. They've all been painted. It looks like the uh, Lincoln has been painted silver, and somebody probably was trying to, I don't know, get the paint off, did a lousy job, or put it where they wanted, did a lousy job, but it's absolutely horrible. The dune buggy looks like it's got silver on top. What is that, blue? Let's turn it over just for fun. What they do? Start with green. No, I don't like green. Oh, uh, we'll do red. No, I, I you know, it, who knows? Who knows? Who knows what's going on through the mine? And this looks like the paint should be coming off that too. It's kind of gnarly. I hesitated uh, trying to refurbish it at all, but we'll see. We'll see what we get. So, guys, I'm starting there, and let's see the uh, Lincoln. I remember the um, it didn't have a yeah, it didn't have a guide pin. Let's see if we can get in there a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't have a guide pin. And look, the um, there's no brushes in there, is there? It doesn't look like there's brushes in there. When I originally uh, I turned it over and picked it up, there's no back screw post. There's a huge screw there, but there is no back screw post. So I'm not even going to try to test it. I don't see a spring under the, what is it, the uh, driver's shoe over there. I don't see a spring under that. So th th that'll be, I do see a nylon gear in the back there as far as that uh, crown gear. I kind of like that. So we'll see what we can do with the chassis. We'll have to refurbish that. But um, all these have... Let's do this. Let's go ahead and um, disassemble the Lincoln, get the bumper off. I think the bump, back bumper, I thought it was intact or mostly intact, didn't it? Yes, it is. Front bumper, I know, is horrible. Front bumper, yeah, it's like a little bit there. I, that, that, that's not a problem as far as refurbishing. I'll take care of that. Okay, so uh, that's where we're at. Let me go ahead and uh, tear the Lincoln apart, and we'll get ready to uh, start getting this paint off, guys. Just got the uh, chassis off and uh, back screw post. I'm probably going to grind that down pretty much all the way. <clears throat> Pardon me, the front screw post, uh, slight cracks in it. I, I, I don't want to say I can't fault the guy for putting oversized screws there. I said it many times in my videos, you used what you had back then. So um, that's probably how the back screw post got broke. He put the oversized screws there. I, I'm sure he tried his best, but the, there's a slight crack in the front one. So I'm going to grind down the back screw post and I'm going to take off both the front and back bumpers. Just turned it over, started getting the back bumper off and you see that little piece that came up? I didn't realize it was already broke, he glued it in separately. What he, I'm sorry, what they also glued was is the back tire to the body. Next thing I could do, I don't know what kind of glue he used, I tried prying it apart with my exacto knife a little bit but I'm probably going to soak it in warm water for a bit. So uh, let me go ahead and do that. If, if, if you got the old glue there, often that warm water gets to loosen it up and we'll, we'll probably have a, an easier time getting this bumper off. Okay, I got it soaking in some warm water. Gonna leave it there for a few minutes. That should loosen up the glue. When I had it, <clears throat> pardon me, over the sink, I was washing it with the uh, toothbrush and got it as clean as I could. Not much came off. So a lot of that, what's on there is gonna be paint and we'll be getting that off with some easy off. All right, now let that soak. Pay attention more to the uh, chassis right now. All right, guys, got the chassis torn apart. Got the uh, the hubs off. I'll be uh, saving those in my spare parts. I'll be getting some new old stock for this, especially if it turns out well. And uh, we got the chassis body there. Looks like it's good shape. Uh, same thing with the bottom of the engine plate. Looks like it's good. The gear's good. I haven't cleaned anything yet, but we're getting to it. I do need the uh, two brushes, and I need one spring. And shoot the shoes, they look like they're in good shape, too. So I'll, I'll do the Brasso stuff on the parts that need it. We'll get this thing oiled up and run a little bit better, looking a little bit better. And then I'll go back and pay attention to the uh, body. That's been soaking just for about uh, two minutes now. Okay, got it soaking in some warm water. Going to leave it there for a few minutes. That should loosen up the glue. When I had it, <clears throat> pardon me, over the sink, I was washing it with the uh, toothbrush and got it as clean as I could. Not much came off. So a lot of that, what's on there, is going to be paint. And we'll be getting that off with some easy off. All right, now let that soak. Pay attention more to the uh, chassis right now. All right, guys, got the chassis torn apart. Got the, uh, the hubs off. I'll be uh, saving those in my spare parts. I'll be getting some new old stock for this especially if it turns out well. And uh, we got the chassis body there. Looks like it's good shape. 
Uh, same thing with the bottom of the engine plate. Looks like it's good. The gear's good. I haven't cleaned anything yet, but we're getting to it. I do need the uh, two brushes, and I need one spring. And shoot the shoes, they look like they're in good shape, too. So I'll, I'll do the Brasso stuff on the parts that need it. We'll get this thing oiled up and run a little bit better, looking a little bit better, and then I'll go back and pay attention to the uh, body. That's been soaking just for about uh, two minutes now. Got the chassis soaking. Got it soaking. I'm uh, probably going to let a, a few more minutes with the body in there. Just a couple more minutes. Uh, make sure that it gets, uh, you know, the whole plastic gets a temperature of the water and everything. And hopefully that glue will come right off. All right, it's just soaking what I just got out of the water. What I want to do now is um, I'll, I'll take my X-Acto knife and I'll try to pry it off a little bit and whatnot. Look at, oh my God, oh my God. It just came off with the... Uh, See, I tell you what, that warm water trick, guys, with that old glue, often that happens. That just crumbled off. That just crumbled right off. Wow. All right, let me get the front bumper. I think I'm getting in two hands. Boy, what a mess back there, huh? What an absolute mess. All right, we're going to be doing the uh, easy off here in just a bit. Uh, I got about probably a half a can left of there. Went to Publix the other day. I didn't see any uh, easy off in a... Uh, aerosol like that it's all pumped so i haven't tried that yet i hope it works as well you know i got the uh residuals of the bumpers back there i'll I, I don't know if there's anything i could possibly do with the what's left of the front bumper but the back bumper if you put it with the piece that come off it makes the whole bumper so i'll probably save both those pieces in so uh next and, and i'm not going to take the glass out i'm not going to take the glass out glass is in there uh we're just going to uh, submerge this in a um bath of uh, easy off that's what will be coming out next and in the meantime, I'll be getting the rest, or I'll start cleaning the uh, rest of that chassis up there. i got to get the uh, brass off of it. Okay, got the uh, chassis parts out of the uh, washer. They're still damp. I've got to get them dry. got to get them polished up, too. The body is ready. The roof is ready. The uh, um, beam buggy is ready. i got a cup over here. We're going to just set them. I'm going to put them upside down first, make sure I get enough of the um, e uh, easy off in there. Then I'll turn them right side up. And I'm just gonna let them soak. I'm just gonna let them soak. So that's where we're at. And uh, probably get back to uh, the rest of the chassis too as far as cleaning that up. All right, got the body sprayed up, got the roof sprayed up to the bottom first, got the top. It's completely, everything in there is completely covered. Let's go ahead and take this stuff back to the bench while it's still damp. We'll get it uh, dried off real quick and polished up. All right, everything's looking good. I got uh, the everything cleaned up as far as the shoes. We got the clamp, but the back gear there. I'm going to keep that on there. I know it's one of the nylon ones. I got the axles good. The whole um, body of the chassis that that's real good too. And I went ahead and got some um, new old stock rims. I'm going to use the original tires, magnets, and all that stuff. Everything over here is going to go into the spar uh, spare parts bit. Well, I, I'm, I'm getting rid of those damn screws here. I'm sorry. If you, if you have something that's going to bust screw posts, I'm getting rid of them. You know what I mean? I'm getting rid of them. There's no, no sense in saving those. So let me do some reassembly, uh, drop of oil, and see if we can get this bugger running. I know we're just looking at a rebuilt chassis, but boy, they look nice when they're done. You know what? They really do. I mean, that, that's just the, uh, the chassis. Yeah, the body's what... But this is almost like a work of art when they're redone. Uh, I got the transformer on, turned it on just before I started the camera. Let's go ahead and test it, see what we get. I did oil it, I did get some oil on it, see what we get, guys. Oh, oh boy. Oh, hear it warm up? Yeah, wow. Wow. Oh, that sounds fast, just listening to it. Okay, um, I tell you what, I still got some time on the uh, body soaking, you know, the plastic parts. I still got some time, those soaking in the... Uh, easy off I'm gonna just um, wait like I said probably a couple hours um, probably go play some Warcraft or something but uh, it, it, it'll be a bit I'm gonna let them soak and we'll get them all cleaned up or see what we got we might have to hit them again with the easy off we just don't know until we look after we clean them the first time all right that's next all right the bodies in the roof they've been in there for a plenty of time I'm gonna go ahead and rinse them with some warm water I suspect we're probably gonna have to do it again as much paint as there you know was on especially that dune buggy we're probably gonna have to do it maybe a couple more times but let's just see what we get wow what an absolute difference an absolute difference I still got some glue residuals where that uh, back tire was I gotta address that but look look, look at the uh, dune buggy there 
what was it, uh, silver, blue-ish, whatever, whatever. Looks like he painted the uh, seats and everything gold. And it looks like he painted everything red. And we saw some green on the bottom. And he, we, after that, he painted everything. I have no idea. This stuff, this blue, whatever blue he used on this roof over here, it, um, a lot of it came off with warm water. And uh, my thumbnail is just scraping off. So I might get it back into the water and see if I can get it off easier that way. But uh, Lincoln, looking pretty good. Uh, we're going to still have to probably maybe one or two more times with the uh, easy off on the um, on the doom buggy there. All right, uh, let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to pull these over my bench and see if I can pick off some of the larger bits of paint off that doom buggy. Hey, all right, sometimes uh, you, you got to have the wherewithal to know when to stop. And I just got to that point with this dune buggy. I thought, you know, I was so excited that, hey, listen, the Lincoln and the dune buggy, I couldn't wait to get the paint off because I'm the guy, I know how to get the paint off real good. And then I saw this in the back. You see there in the dune buggy, right next to the tire, there's a hole that had been melted. Guys, I didn't see it. I didn't even see it from the bottom. But when I did turn it over, I was looking after it, after I discovered it, it's like, oh yeah, it's obvious, but there was paint all over the bottom. And another thing, look at the back screw post. Can we can we fix it? Yes, we can fix it. But this thing would take more time, energy, uh, to get it looking good again than it's going to be worth. So you got to know when to quit sometimes. I hate to say it, but uh, I'm going to leave it as is. And the roof, I'm just going to have the roof go with it. Now, I tell you what, the Lincoln's coming out nice. I got the chrome kit there. The only thing that isn't really coming out uh, good on the Lincoln is, you, you see the uh, the windshield? It's got like glue smudges or something I just can't get off very well. Nothing's really seemed to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, get some glass, grind this glass uh, out of there. Uh, you know, there's like a little post hole in there. We're going to grind it out. Hopefully it'll pop out. But I just can't get the glue residual off there. So um, we still have to address the uh, screw post in the back there. We'll be getting to that in just a bit. Well, that glass just came popping out. That little nub right there that would hold it in um, had to just just grind off a little bit. But you see how filthy that glass is? Guys, I can't, I've tried. I can't get it any cleaner than this. It's like um, probably like um, styrene glue or something because it's almost like it's, part of the glass now, not something that would come off and clean up, but it's like in the glass, so that's going to be scrapped. I don't know if I'll even keep that. So the next thing is is, uh, uh, is the uh, back screw post there. We're going to address that. I'm going to clean up that, you know, just grind it down a bit, and then we'll go get some tubing and uh, we'll go ahead and get it fit just right. Got the screw post ground down. Looks uh, flush. I had to get rid of some of the debris around it. Only took a second. And what I've done over here is I've cut the uh, new screw post. I got the it, the diameter is just about the same as the Aurora screw post in there. Just about, not exactly, but the inside diameter hole is like the exact width of the screw with the threads. So what I had to do is I had to flood the hole with a little of that Scotch glue that I have, and I'm going to let that dry. Then when I go ahead and thread it it'll grip to the inside of that and it, I, I use that uh, technique many 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 times it works quite well so after that dries we'll go ahead and thread it we'll uh, attach it to uh, one of the chassis I got a few of the chassis I still need to uh, uh, refurbish and clean up we'll get to those I don't know which one I'll pick and I, I, I believe the Lincoln isn't it a long wheelbase I think it's a long wheelbase so I'll make sure to do that I'll, I'll refurbish the chassis and I'll make sure we get a, 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 a reset it to a long wheelbase so guys, that's where we're at. As soon as that bugger dries, we will be, uh, we'll be uh, putting it on a chassis and getting it reinstalled to the uh, Lincoln. All right, it has been plenty of time for the glue to dry. What I'm going to do next is tap the uh, screw into the uh, screw post there. It should only take a second, and then I've got a chassis out. I just realized that I really don't have to have a long or a short wheelbase. I just need to go ahead and make sure that the uh, screw post is the right length, so we're going to be fine without me refurbishing that chassis. So let me go ahead and uh, tap the screw post. All right, good. I got uh, the screw tapped in there. Next is to attach it to the back of the chassis there. <clears throat> then we'll get the length for the uh, body there. So it, uh, we're, we're getting close, guys. We're getting real close. Okay, looks like we're in good shape. Got the screw post on. Getting ready to put the uh, body on. 
And what do we got? It looks like it needs to be sandy quite a bit, quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some off there. I'm just going to uh, cut some off, then I'll sand down to the proper length. Still setting up just a little bit too high. It looks like it jacked up in the back there, doesn't it? Okay, I did cut some off. I sanded some off. We've got to do a little bit more. All right, it looks good, doesn't it? Looks like the right height. Looks like it's not jacked up in the back or anything, right? All right, let's do this just for fun. Let me get the uh, transformer. Okay, got on the track over here. Good. Let's see what we get, guys, just for fun. <laughs> Make sure it's rolling. Yeah, good. Chessie does work great. <laughs> good. Oh, looks good. Okay, so we got to glue up the screw post. We got to glue up the screw post, and we also, as far as the windshield, uh, yeah, there it is. That that's too nasty to keep. So we got to replace the windshield as well. Okay, got the screw post in, glued in, and I, I just thought while I was doing it, front and back bumpers, they're glued in too. So the only thing we're waiting on is glue to dry. And then the uh, windshield. That's it, guys. Getting very, very close. Looking good, though. All right, hey, we are almost done. That back screw post is in and dried. I got the screws. I got a guide pin there. Look at the difference night and day with the uh, windshields there. And then, I mean, you know, actually night and day difference. With the old one here, I was looking at it, and um, the previous owner, you could tell after the glue or whatever you used marred the plastic down at the very bottom he started like trying to scrape it off again i think if somebody just lightly sands it paints it black it'll be a a, a great black windshield for one of the uh lincoln's here got the chassis ready to go so it's just a matter of gluing and popping the windshield in assembling everything and we should be great to test it then wow oh my gosh boy it looks good all the way around doesn't it and i tell you what that windshield absolutely the right touch that gives us that finishing touch to where, hey, listen, if you want to race that one, put that in your collection now, it, it, it's, it's going to be it's going to be the right choice. And remember what it looked like with all that the gray paint on it? The guy tried to get it off and everything. So much better now. This is going to be um, going on to eBay here shortly, guys. I'm, I'm getting a, um, a number of things together. Let's do this. Let's uh, just for fun go ahead and put it on the track. <clears throat> get it over here. Good. Okay, and... Oh yeah, there we go. I always love the way the Lincoln looks. They look so, um, shall I say, stately. <laughs> they look really nice, don't they? That's a that's a fun one to race. Um, I never want to go too fast with that, as we know. They break. They break. Everything comes off the front bumper, back bumper, and all that stuff. And to find them uh, all painted up and everything like that, and still in good condition, enough to restore, I love it. Great find. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you would. And any comments, let me know guys. I'm here for you and I will return your comment. Alright, see you in the next video.